Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great, and welcome to this uh, new video on Notcoin for whoever is still interested. Uh, but no, wanted to do a, wanted to do a full update here. My um, in, in general, Notcoin has lost quite a lot of uh, interest by retail, but the price is still up there. It's still technically very very bullish, I would say. There's so there, there, there's some bearish signs as well, and, and we'll talk about that, of course. Uh, but no, it's it's actually I, I do think that that Notcoin can still rally here. Ton is still holding up relatively well, as far as I know. It's been a bit quiet, all right. The markets in general, or at least most altcoins, have been quite uh, quiet, and um, th th there's been exceptions, so all right. And of course, Notcoin, well, it has been quiet for the last couple of days, uh, but about four days ago, it was still super bullish. So has it really been quiet? Not really. Um, but wanted to do a full update, all right? Because the main thing we're waiting for for uh, with Notcoin, especially after hitting that uh, hitting that top on uh, on Monday, is some sort of a continuation or reversal, all right? Because what we have done with that strong momentum uh, Saturday the the sixth and then also uh, Sunday the seventh is we gained a lot of momentum. We got some massive bullish breakouts. I would say technically, short term we're consolidating, but higher time frames, I would actually say this is quite bullish. Um, at least on some sort of a time frame, because if you really zoom out, then this is also neutral and we're consolidating, but all right. Um, so that obviously creates opportunities. Now, what I do think you need to know, and I've, I've, said, I've said this countless times, is I do think Notcoin is, is quite manipulated, right? If you, if you look at that move also that we made in the weekend, what you can also see is that it was a ton of, um, of big buy orders coming in at a very... Uh, in, in a very small time period, right? So that's usually, usually if, if, if a move is for real, if a move is really caused by some sort of retail interest, uh, then it's way more gradual. Like it's, it's some people are very early and then more and more people start to stream in. And with Notcoin, it's the other way around. You have a lot of people at, at the start putting in some huge buy orders and then retail tr uh, starts to, start, starts to tr trickle in. Uh, and apart from that, also some bot alerts went off uh, with, with Notcoin, um, which means that uh, probably there were some bots deployed to uh, to TWAP or, or VWAP Notcoin. Doesn't matter. Uh, we're still at the price w w which we are at right now. And right now, what we're waiting for is some sort of momentum to kick in. All right. We already know that uh, th that we've had some some top signals right here. So what you saw here at the top is that Notcoin made a higher high, but then at the same point of time. So that's right here. And we've talked about this before, but it is still very relevant. Uh, we made a higher high, but the open interest, so the momentum uh, was already making a lower highs. And then the RSI had been doing that already since the, the, the high we made before that. So that's a major bearish confirmation. Um, the thing though is, is that with a, bearish with a bearish divergence like that, normally I would say that's the top and we're going to drop back down. However, with Notcoin, because of what we've seen in the weekend and because of what we know with Notcoin in terms of manipulation, I would actually say it still has a chance. And I would say the market structure right now for, for Notcoin is actually something like this, where we are consolidating between a major support level around 1.5 cents, so 0 0.015, and the main resistance level, which has been our main resistance level since uh, that rally, at 1.7. And I actually think it's very 50-50 which one of those two levels is going to break. At this point of time, I, I cannot really tell you something about that, all right? The momentum is completely flat. There's no, there, there, there's no real direction in the price right now, but at some point of time, we're going to get that breakout. Now, <clears throat> I, I'm, I would say it's 50-50, all right? So I would say place a price alert at 1.7 or 1.75 and place a price alert at 1.5. And when we get a four hour time frame breakout, either above or below those levels, then you have confirmation and then we know a little bit more and, and we have a little bit more confirmation of, of what's to happen next. Now, that's not really what, uh, what people want to see. Uh, people want me to tell you what I think is most likely. So if I would have to give you my thoughts due to the market circumstances and what I've seen uh, in, in the past from not, this move looks a little bit more like this move instead of this move in terms of momentum, in terms of sentiment, in terms of market circumstances. So therefore, I also think it's more likely that we'll follow the trajectory of this move, which would be something like this, and therefore a bearish breakout. So that's what I think is most likely. And 
doesn't mean it's, it's guaranteed to happen. But when we're talking about the breakouts, I would wait for confirmation if you want to trade this. Um, but personally, I think the bearish breakout is more likely. So those are my thoughts. That's what I think you need to know. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.